Oh, you know what? This might be one of those. We gotta wait for him to. We gotta wait for him to suck up all the puppets, and then we can throw our grenade. Oh God. Hello everyone, it's me, Bo Astra, your guide to the Astral Labyrinth, the Astral Minotaur himself in the Touring Constellation. We're back with some more My Friendly Neighborhood. Uh, we are going to keep trying to find these masks. <sighs> enough with these. Enough with you. Off. Off you go. These little puppets are going to be the death of me, I swear. But at least I, every time, at least every time I come back through here, I am guaranteed to use three more pieces of ammunition. Which is honestly really nice, because the game on this difficulty gives me far too much ammunition, if I'm being frank. And I hate being frank, because my name is Bo. That was stupid. That was a stupid joke. Um, either way. <laughs> Part of me is, is kind of a little sad that I managed to, to, to make this hallway safe for myself because I, I want to go on a bit of a spree. Uh, uh, Alright, here. We have three of these masks now. Uh, is that the only other thing that was in here? It was. We have three masks. I wonder if there's another one. We have room for a fourth just in case. Did we not go upstairs from the mezzanine? Does that go downstairs? Huh. Well, either way. Uh, we want to go back across the way. No, we want to go back downstairs to the marquee hall and we can open up that hallway with the diamond key. Now that we have the diamond key, we can actually, once we get out of here, go back to both the underground area and Studio 4. Why go back multiple times when we only need to go back once? Why are you so tall? Okay. Oh, good. All right. Uh, okay. We have more ammo. I do. Leonard. Why do they take? So sometimes they take so little ammo, and sometimes they take so much more ammo. Uh, let's open that door. What is in here? Oh, I can go into the machine room as well. We're actually low on ammunition now. For once, I say that and then we find another. However many, come on. However many more ammunition that is. Is this? These are the hydraulics for the elevator. Where's the fluid tank? We need to get the fluid tank to activate the hydraulics for the elevator. Because it's always one thing if it's not another. Uh, well, we're gonna come back in here later anyway, so we don't have to be super thorough. Oh, these guys are gonna be. Sometimes we would swap our arms. Hey! 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 Oh! Shut up. Oh, Leonard. That's all I have to say about that. Nothing else to say. All right, well, now we have four masks. Which seems like there couldn't possibly be more than that. What 
else was in oh right there was also a uh you know what actually just throwing away materials because we have too many quite the uh the conundrum that we find ourselves in go back into the mezzanine that's probably what we're gonna do we are now officially running low on some ammunition Okay, uh, we have a, a AR for our, our going? Or, 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 oh, okay. You uh, keep learning uh, your, for, for you keep learning your, your periodic table of elements there, Norman. I'm Junebug. I was asked to talk about responsibility. Oh. <laughs> Once again, I, I, uh, scared myself. Oh, these, God, these paintings are all just incredible. Kudos to the art team for this game, you know? Kudos indeed. Now. Oh! We have found... Oh, wait, hold on. This is a, this is a save room. I, I think? God, it's eerily quiet in here. The waiting room? Uh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I am going to... <laughs> find more duct tape. Um, I'm gonna use all of the masks here, just so I give myself some more inventory space. Our friends feel a lot of feelings. Junebug has a good day. Had a good day. Norman had a bad day. Liliana found a big, a big mouse, and George got cut off in traffic. Well, you know what? You know what I think. We're gonna. George got cut off in traffic. He's not happy. Uh, Liliana found a big mouse. We'll say that she's probably afraid of that. Junebug had a good day, and Norman had a bad day. What, uh... <gasps> we found dice. We found a bunch of dice. For sure we know where those go. We just gotta go back down to the rec room now. Uh, but first things first, we're gonna pick up all of this material and see if there's anything that we do not need currently in our inventory cool uh and let's save kill station we're still perfectly healthy i uh, you know what no not even i'm not even mad we had too many anyway too many anyway. All right. Well, with the dice, we can go back to the uh, the rec room. We can see how that's gonna go. Feel like this is one of those kind of like landmark moments that potentially now we're gonna have to deal with a bunch of puppets that have sort of like populated. No. Oh, that's surprising. Not, not altogether unwelcome though, because sometimes it's nice to, to have to deal with all, all the enemies repopulating rooms behind you. God, this room. We taped up Leonard, right? We did, and we already took everything out of here. I hate you. I hate you. And I hate you. I hate all of you. I hate everything about your stupid small bodies. Okay. So we've got nine dice now. Uh, let's see. Top row. It's three, six, one, five, two, three, four, six, five. Three. 
six, one. Oh. Oh, that's special. Uh, so what's on the opposite side of one on a die? I believe it's six. Yeah, yeah, it's six. Okay. So then we need this one to be one. And then that last one we need to be four. Fantastic. So then we need two, five, four on the other side. Aha! I solved your puzzle. Can I not? I guess there's, that's not something that we can actually do. Well, we're going to get a shotgun out just in case. We need to go on a puppet killing spree. Oh, once again, I cannot overstate my hatred for them. They scare me every time. I just get a little jump because their tiny puppet bodies are just present. Maybe I can uh, talk to my, my Echo. Hello! Oh, hello! Hello! Oh, hey there! Oh, hey, Jesus. It's, it's uh, nice to meet you! <laughs> oh, he left. You having a good well, time well, there, Norman? Well, it's time for... Uh, what does Norman notice? Oh, let's see. oh my god. I You know, I actually kind of feel bad for Norman. He's... Even amongst the puppets, he's just a guy, you know? He's just a normal... Hey, I'm Norman. Norman? I'm a really no hey! Bye, Norman. Why does it not want to... No. It was, uh... It was a little bugged there. Alright, well... They should fix that elevator. There we go. So that should be fixed now. Hopefully. Norman's Norman's got some some anger issues, some some loneliness issues he's got to work out. You made me waste my ammo. I hate it. Uh, yeah, back this way. All right. So now we're getting into this elevator. Which who knows where this goes? Off to a new part of the game. Oh, into the waiting room. I suppose I should not be surprised. Another health potion, you say. And we're done. What do you think? Oh, the CEO's office. Interesting. This is, uh... Hello, Mr. Gerswald. Wow. Would love to have a view like this. Oh, there's Goblet down there. Uh, yeah. Front door key. So this is how we get... Maybe this will unlock the front door. I wonder, Gordon. Do you think... Do you think the front door key might unlock the front door to the studio, Gordon? Or the, the office? You think? God, I love protagonist syndrome sometimes, where it's just like, maybe this will do the thing. It's like, yeah, you think? You think, Gordon? Oh boy. All right, well, we still have space. So there's that. For the time being. Oh, maybe we should save. Hold on. I'm not that I feel like I'm in danger of, of dying and losing progress, but, you know, I've got the tokens anyway, so I might as well use them. Not using them for anything else, that's for sure. 
Unless we're accidentally healing. Leaving the office. I guess at that point we could go back to stage four. Good. What? What the fuck? What? What was that? Should I be afraid? Why is my mouse in the middle of the screen? Hold on. Get my mouse off the screen. What's that? Oh. Oh, that's upsetting. Oh, hold on. You know what? This might be one of those. We gotta wait for him to. We gotta wait for him to suck up all the puppets, and then we can throw our grenade. Oh God! It's like an actual boss battle. I wasn't expecting a real boss battle. Get out of here, baby puppets. Okay, there's only one little eyeball left, so I feel like it's almost dead. We got it. Yeah, that's right. Get out of what? here. What was that? Well, it did use all of my grenades. So, uh Huh. I don't know if I want to go outside where that thing was. Okay, Gordon, what's next? Well, we're going to do it anyway, I guess. And the diamond key is what we need to open the power. Flip. And now... We should be able to go into the west lot. And it's very dark over here. It's too... too... Uncomfortably dark. That's locked. Ugh. Oh, that is actually unsettling. I feel like I'm gonna get jump scared very badly. I don't want to be jump scared by puppets. I mean, who does? Really? Oh. That wasn't so bad. Now we have the West Lot map. But I will pick up pieces. And then we will save out of a sense of moral obligation. And we will see what's in the Playcastle area. Didn't know that oh, we're gonna get another visit from Ricky out of this birdhouse. A little birdhouse into Ricky's soul. Ricky? Gordon, where are you going? Where do you think? 
What's the matter with you? Don't you want to be our friend? You have a funny way of making friends. I'm lucky I haven't been hugged to death or eaten. Okay, I admit we're not at the top of our game, but you can't throw <laughs> us out just because we've made a few I don't know if, if death threats and just like actual attacks uh -huh, are uh, sure. small mistakes, Ricky. Through hordes of allegedly psychopathic puppets is a normal day at work for you, hmm? Seriously, Gordon, who hurt you? I don't know what you're talking about. No? So you were just born a bully? I'm not a bully. Surprised you're not a detective. They're always bashing down doors and brandishing guns. Or maybe a GI give you a chance to rampage through some small defenses. Don't say that, Ricky. Say what? Don't talk about the war. <gasps> Why not? Just Gordon's a war veteran. Like exactly the sort of place you. <laughs> Ricky, you're pushing Gordon's buttons. Gordon is a war veteran. I knew the war would be important. Oh, hey, Pearl. Not real Pearl, but, you know. Let's, uh, unlock that. Mm. Who would lock a play castle? That seems... a little unnecessary. There's nothing to interact with in the darkness. Except for Ray. I guess we'll come back later. Into the... What was that? Yeah, what was that? Missing a battery. Great. Great and good. Now, of course, because it's missing a battery. And I am afraid of what I will find on the other side of this gate. Nothing currently. That could change in an instant. That's a doggy door. What am I looking at? What if I come over here? Is there anything to interact with? We have dog bowls. Nothing here. So that's something. This goes into a greenhouse. We're going to check out this door first uh, and immediately get attacked by something, I think. No? Surprised be all a little bit afraid that they are giving me access to all of these short gun shells. A horrifying sacrifice. The City Tribune. Last night I was watching a rerun of one of the old newsreels from the war when one of the stories jumped out at me. In one operation, a platoon of our soldiers found themselves trapped in a collapsing mine. As they ran to the entrance, one of the timbers supporting the tunnel began to fall until a private, Joshua Hartwright, caught it on, the sh on his shoulders. As he, held up his, uh, as he held up the wood, his friends scrambled under out, uh, out under his outstretched arms until after everyone else was out, he let go. The tunnel collapsed in on him, burying him forever in the earth. When I hear that story, I felt a mixture of emotions. Pity for the waste of a human life, anger at the injustices of the war, but most of all, I was horrified. Horrified that a person might have to do such a thing. Horrified that it was being held up as an inspiration. To lay down your life for someone else. To lose everything. To have the veil torn and the scraps of your life vanish into nothingness. How could anyone ask something else, uh, someone else to do that? Who would do that voluntarily? And if you don't, do they call you a coward? Interesting. I'm gonna... God, I feel like I'm going to open this door and the dogs are going to be back. They're not. 
Thank goodness. Well, we don't have the triangle key yet. Is there anything else over here? The dog on that doggy door does frighten me a little bit. It is a little bit terrifying in its look. Uh, ooh, tokens. Is there anything else over here? A magazine. Uh, that means there's probably something over... What is... Oh, the triangle key. So what do we have here? Maybe I can use this to dissolve whatever's blocking the elevator in the hotel. That is a good thing. Jam solvent instructions. Barry's jam solvent. Sometimes jam clogs up the... Sure. If this happens, you can unstick it by applying this compound. And we have the green triangle key now. Um, well, we don't have any of those things yet, and I assume in order to get them, we are going to have to go elsewhere. Cool. Cool and good. All right. Please don't. Nothing? All right. Now that we have the green triangle key, we can go ba backtrack everywhere. Batteries. What is this? A burning anxiousness. Lifestyle opinion column. Somehow life in the city doesn't seem as enjoyable as it once was. And I don't just mean because of the economy. I feel a burning anxiousness. A constant sense of missing something that saps the enjoyment from my normal activities and makes everyday discomforts almost intolerable. On the subway, people's elbows jab into your personal space. Angry pedestrians yell at you on the street. When I finally get home from work and snap on the television, I breathe a sigh of relief. Compared to the world outside, television is safe, predictable. I can choose what to watch and avoid what feels uncomfortable. For a few moments, I can escape to the anxiousness and become lost in a world of pleasant dreams. Huh. Health relax. Nothing. Magazine. I think that's it. Yep, we got everything. Cool. Uh, we don't have anything to interact with that stuff over there, so we're going to avoid it. Where did those dogs go? It showed me one of them. And then it disappeared. I just assume this is going to take me back down into the basement, potentially. Which, honestly, that is fine by me. Oh. I thought I was going to get jumps. I'm surprised the game hasn't jump scared me into, uh... Surprised that the game has not jump scared me into... Oh, my little rat buddy. You make everything so much better. Jump scared me into, uh, releasing... Just, like, something coming at you when you're closing an elevator. It'd be so easy. Join me next time as I now, with my triangle key and diamond key, move back through all of the areas that we have previously been to. Retread some ground and get the things that I need to get this jam dissolver and do my damn job. Until then, this has been Bo Astra with My Friendly Neighborhood, and see you next time. I'm coming for you, Norman.